When taxi driver Sam started his Regent cab a few weeks ago, he immediately knew there was a problem. One day morning, I come, the car the converter had been cut off. We have three cars here got stolen, all three cars. The cab was parked around DeHaro and 17th Street near Potrero Hill. Sam only gave us his first name, but he was eager to tell us how much of a problem the thefts have been. Replacing all three catalytic converters isn't cheap. Taxi business not that good, so, you know, we had to do one at a time, you know, one car at a time, because they, they cost about... Yeah. The cheaper one, we can get about three, four hundred dollars, you know. That's that a whole week work. This cab is out of service, but he's taped a temporary tube in the gap where the catalytic converter is supposed to go so he can start it up and move it every few hours without making a loud racket in the neighborhood. The taxi driver says he parks some of his cabs in this neighborhood because he figures it's safe. There is a police station that's nearby. Turns out, unfortunately, even police vehicles are not safe from catalytic converter thieves. According to a statement from the San Francisco police, on Monday, an officer started up a fully marked police truck parked outside the station at DeHaro and 16th Street and quickly realized the catalytic converter had been stolen. According to the police statement, the officer inspected other police vehicles and discovered that another marked police truck and two marked police vans also had their catalytic converter stolen. In the last couple of months, police agencies have been trying to contend with the thefts by targeting the groups that move the stolen devices. In August, Fremont police served search warrants at a company called Arrow Recovery. Officers found at least 300 catalytic converters they believe were stolen. Back at the San Francisco station where the parts were cut from four vehicles, we did see several security cameras but do not know if they caught anything on camera. According to the SFPD statement, the thefts are an ongoing investigation. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News. Well,